Hello you, welcome to Geekism and welcome back to Foundation. It's been a little bit of a while since we were in this one, but I am now back from my uh, trip back to the UK to see some family and friends and stuff. Uh, so happy to dive back into this one because uh, frankly, frankly I wasn't done with it. I, I wanted to see more of the game. So uh, just before last thing we did, um, I don't think this actually made it onto an episode, but they brought out this little sheep statue um and it filled that little gap we had a little gap here that was we put some flowers in the stuff and perfectly that sits really nicely i think as the middle of the town so uh that's what we're doing there um right let's go to our image guy we can click them i shall assist again 30 but now we haven't got any berries sorry i'm keeping it all i'm keeping it all so um seems to be the major problem we have right now is that people won't travel very far to go to their work um unfortunately so even though if we look at our sort of uh, development zones our, our residential zones there is space for them to move into but uh, they don't particularly seem to want to like here for instance beautiful space here that's that's nice and 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 will keep people happy but you know nobody really wants to come down and live here even though when we look down here and look at our, uh, our sort of uh, desirability level um it's not the worst you know it you know it could be better but i think basically it's because they're it's a bit far away from where they work unfortunately um so money wise we're teetering around uh low income so we do we do need some houses we do because we earn money off the houses uh, i'm pretty sure so yeah i'm not too sure what to what to do to fix it uh the only other thing is the major problem is that these uh these are all the wrong way around and, and, and people told me that like episode three or something um but like i say a lot of those were pre-recorded batch recorded for for the trip away so i'm going to come in get rid of all of those and rebuild them the correct way around because that's the sort of thing that bothers me uh no no promoting today um, where are we? Where are we? It's one, it should be one of the first ones because we've. Um... Oh, no, it's not. It's right down the bottom there. Look, okay. So let me look. There's. There we go. Oh yes, yeah, so it's more like a like a dock that goes out. Okay, well I'll grant that. Uh, now also it said that it's much better for this to just sit near where uh, where the fish are because it's uh, less of a distance. Now, unfortunately, uh, we don't have any gold. God, we're really low on gold luck. We're actually currently minus 18 right now. Um, so I'm not too sure what the fix is for that. Maybe look at getting rid of some of the more expensive buildings that we're not really utilizing very much. Um, the problem is we have kind of really built up things like this, uh, um, uh, the church and stuff. People keep telling me to leave that off. Sorry, I forget it's there due to my color blindness so that's what's that costing us to run does it give us a f maintenance cost is 401 gold i mean that is huge really so i do wonder if maybe we could downsize it a little um maybe if we if we lose the gargoyles um and maybe these archways as well while they're not particularly doing much. They, they don't cost us too much. And then maybe... Maybe this extension on the side here. Let's find it. This one. Extension B. Let's lose that. Uh, and that gargoyle. Okay. Uh, that might help. That's gonna. What's the cost on that now? 328. Definitely lower than it was. Um, so that's that. What else could we just shave off a little? I mean, a lot of this isn't doing much, really. Um, same with the with the fort here. What's that cost? This cost is 256. I mean, we could, for now, at least lose a, a little bit of this just until we get a bit too uh, a bit better. So. Let's have a look. Um, yeah, that could go. That's 12 gold. Uh, it's that piece I want. I don't know what piece it is, though. Uh, chimney can go. It doesn't really cost us anything, though, the chimney. But 
It'll have to go because of the building it's attached to. So what is this building here? Stone extension. Oh, that one's actually housing people. So no, I'll keep that one. Well, what about that one then? That's costing us money, so that can go. All right, let's do it like that. Now we're currently plus four. I mean, it's nothing really, but perhaps better than... Uh, Oh, plus 22. There we go. Okay, so now we can come in and build our fisheries. Um, and make sure we get them the right way around. Okay, so that, yeah, it's definitely that way on, isn't it? So, oh no, we're still low on gold. Look, we had it. We had 100 or so in there, but it's just very, very much uh, fluctuating. Okay, well... I'm literally going to sit and watch the number. It pops up to 17. Oops, I think my speaker over. Excuse me. Uh, 10, 6, 11, 2, 7. Oh, my word. We're really, really hemorrhaging cash right now. Well, we're not hemorrhaging. We're just not really making anything, are we? The money's trickling in and then trickling out again. All I do is put that down. All right. Well, the other thing is then is that the... Um, here somebody was saying that the, the resources will sort of sell as they sell. So there are there are zero berries in there. There are zero bread in there. Are we just not producing much stuff at the moment? Is that maybe the issue? That's a lot. We have no bread in stock currently. We have no fish. We've got loads of cheese. Can't even do anything with the cheese. Um... So what does that... What does that tell me then? If we, if those numbers are all so low, and that's probably why we're not making money because there's nothing to buy, right? What's there? No berries. So, who have we got making berries then? There are there are many many berry, many many berry people there. Six people there making berries. Did we do them up here as well? Yes. Here we've got. There's loads of people making getting berries. Is it is it just that we need even more? There are four berries currently in stock. Okay, well, gathering hut up from cost twenty gold. Can't afford it. Like we could bring these ones back in to so these 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 huts in the middle here. There's one over here somewhere that I think we covered up with a building too, right? We just haven't got the gold there. Oh well, oh, well, you know what? The, we may be, we may be at the end of this village. I, I, I genuinely think we may have got into a bit of a stalemate with it, because we are not able to make any money, and we need money to fix any problems as to why we're not making money. I think one of the things I really need to realise is how far they will travel. The problem is it doesn't really tell you who's traveling if that makes sense this six villagers lack space for housing there is plenty of space for them to live there is plenty of space here for them to build houses but i'm assuming that these villagers who lack housing perhaps live up here so maybe we do something like that Right, so all of this is no longer the extraction zone. Where is getting extracted? Well, there's no trees getting extracted now. Okay, well, it's this area, right, is the extraction zone now. There we go. That's where you could get choppy trees from, all right. So six villagers, yeah, if we click if we click these six, it doesn't unfortunately doesn't tell us which six. It'd be nice to say the six villagers who work in the stone area haven't got housing. The six villagers who work, you know, up on the military haven't got housing. Because wherever it is Um Wherever it is, they're not happy with the space they currently have. So you would think maybe I mean if it isn't that area, what area is it? I mean maybe it's these here. Can we can we see? Hey, there we go. Look, I'm free time. Works 96 meters from home. Well, 
Well, it's 84 meters from home. So just that's quite a long way, really. But that wouldn't really be any closer, eh? Okay, what about if we make all of this residential? As well. And they can rebuild and come here through the through the through the forest. No. I just I'm not too sure that it's fixable right now, unfortunately. Like I say, if, if they told me which villages it was that we had a problem with, we could do something about it. But unfortunately, it is... It's kind of guesswork, right? The desirability. There's very little desirability here. So I wonder if maybe uh, we can up the desirability a little bit with a well, perhaps. Desirability low. That's going to increase desirability there. Look, there we go. Uh, and also, little things... I mean, I don't know whether they cost cash and stuff, but little things like these... Uh, decorative tree, decorative bush. I mean, they do. They cost a little, but these uh, these will up the uh, will up desirability a little. You know, you can actually see it sort of getting there, though. But it's whether or not we actually can afford them. There we go. Let's see what happens when that well gets built. I'm not going to be promoting anyone just now. But yeah, I think maybe time to draw a line under this city and, uh, and maybe come back to it for the next update. I, I enjoy Foundation. I have a lot of fun in this game, but uh, you know, it is still early access and it does still kind of have its uh, slight issues. There we go. So there's, the, there's that well. Let's see what that does to it. Let's see if that can help us. The other, th the other thing that somebody said is that when you get to like a hundred citizens, the game can kind of break a little as well. There we go. See, that's that's built there. Look, that's desirability has slightly improved there, but just nobody seems to want to move over there. It's a shame, really. We've got the sheep over here. The plan was to have like a secondary village over here, but I think... It, I'm sure it said in one of the updates that people will move. Can we kick people out of that house and see what happens? I'm just interested to see whether people come in and fill it up or what. It's still just saying empty right now. Yeah, it did say that people would move if they if they could, you know. But maybe they only move into houses that are already built. That's the bit I'm not too sure about. A new military mission is available. Uh no, we can't do that, can we? Because we haven't got swords, right? That was the problem with that one last time. Yeah, look there, sheep statue. Oh, it cost us 100 gold back when we had money. Wow. Yeah, nobody's building anywhere around here. Nobody's interested, despite... Uh, oh, the six people not having a house anymore has gone away. No one villager has no housing. So where have you just built a house, then? Like, like, people are getting annoyed now, look. Yeah, I, th I feel I feel like we are in entropy now, unfortunately, and it's just going to be... It's just not going to get any better, despite having an awesome... It doesn't stop raining either as well, what's that all about? Despite having a, an awesome sheep statue, I feel like we may have come to the end of this series. Um, Yeah, okay, I'm going to call it. Time of death, 8.24 a.m. <laughs> um, good fun, but yeah, I think uh, I think we've kind of come to the, to the... Like I say, somebody did say that when you get to 100, it really starts messing up. I'm at 97 currently. People are not happy. There's no food, but I can't do anything about that because I've got no money. Can't do anything about that because nobody will build new houses. I just feel like we're stuck in this vicious circle. Uh, never mind. Lots of fun in Foundation. Looking forward to coming back to it once it's had a little bit of polish on it uh, later in the year. Uh, until then, be good.